All right, welcome to my studio, and today is another throwback Thursday tech review. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. And a uh, little change up today. I can't find my phone mount, so we're gonna do retro retro, and we're gonna use some different devices. Let's check it out. So we're filming on the Samsung S20 now, but I can't hold that and uh, showcase the device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this to my lav mic and then film the video. Uh, but that was pretty cool how I just switched. So on the Samsung S20, there's a little uh, rotate button and you just, and now it goes to the front facing camera and you and now it's on the rear facing camera. Awesome, one of my favorite features. Okay, back to the retro track, retro tech. So we're going retro with the Sam's, uh, sorry, with the Microsoft Surface 3 Pro that we got quite some time ago. I'll check the exact year. I'm thinking 2016, maybe 2015. And it still works. You'll notice it does have this nasty crack in it. So what I did to get it to work again is I disabled the touchscreen. And now I just use a mouse and I normally have a keyboard attached to it. And it works great as a kid monitor and way better than let's say a Chromebook or a netbook. And it records video. So let's get to this device and learn some more about it. Here we go. All right, and we're recording. So here it is. This is our main retro tech for the day. This is the Intel MP3 player. And let's see if we can get this to uh, focus. Uh, we might have to uh, uh, switch. So it still turns on. I put in some brand new batteries. There we go. Wow, you know, the camera on here is very dicey. We might have to, uh, maybe this is not gonna work. <laughs> maybe filming the retro tech on a retro camera is not gonna, yeah, this is gonna work. Hang on, let's switch. All right, so we tried the uh, retro tech and that didn't work. Uh, this retro device, uh, trying to video record on that, the focus isn't quite there. So we're gonna have to uh, move this out of the way. All right, now we can switch and we can zoom in here. And here's our lovely retro device from the year 1999 or it could actually be as early as 1998. Uh, I was actually a, a contract employee for this company and they had a contest and I won. And this was one of the prizes. This is the Intel MP3 player. And you can see right there on the splash up, it said the year 2000. 2000 Intel Corp version 1.0 and I still have music on it. It's still, uh, you're gonna have to apologize because I'm pretty sure this is music that I liked back in the year 2000. So, oh, we have Britney Spears. I apologize for that. Uh, but look at that. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, almost six lines of text. And it has a lock screen so you don't accidentally press the buttons. And look at that, everyone's favorite. Headphone jack, and it has volume right on top. And if memory serves, the last time I tried this, the volume is a bit wonky. You'll notice it's just kind of, oh, no, it's working. Okay, the volume buttons have broken over the last two decades. And it was actually rechargeable. So you'd put rechargeable batteries right in here in this rechargeable port. And then it came in a docking station, which I've lost. I might have accidentally donated that to either Goodwill or Deseret Industries. But yeah, it has a set button. You have a scroll wheel, so you can quickly scroll through. 
Let's see if the set button still works. Ah, here we go. I can set to repeat, random. Oh, I can adjust the treble, the bass, and then I can click done. And I believe, yep. Yeah. So not only is this a scroll wheel, you can also click down on it. So very gratifying that it has all these. So let's see. Oh wait, what's this button? The music button. That's right. This has an FM radio. Oh my gosh. So not only is it an FM radio, it's also an MP3 player. So it's an MP3 player and an FM radio. Okay, I might have to start using this just for fun because I like to listen to the radio and yeah. So volume keys has a set button. It has on off. It has a old school USB port. I do not know if I still have that type of connector. I might have to go back to Goodwill and see if I can find one so I can put new music on this. I don't know how I would do that. Hopefully it just connects and I can see it on my computer as a folder. So let's connect this to this device right here, a Goal Zero speaker. And just in case you're wondering, this video is sponsored by PH Digital, the man inside the music. No, um, PH Digital is just me. I'm PH Digital. I'm sponsoring myself and this was free and uh, shout out to Intel and thanks for letting me win the computer two decades ago and also this cool mp3 speaker. It came with headphones, those broke. Um, yeah, so let's connect it. All right, we got everything ready. So we're gonna plug this in and hopefully here's some cool tunes from the year 2000. And flip on and play. Oh, okay, it looks like the head fan, headphone jack is a little wonky. Oh, we can almost get to work. What, have they changed the MP3 port since then? Oh, that almost ruined it. Okay, I don't want to, so we'll switch to the next track. Virtual Insanity. This is a good one. Oh yeah, I remember this song. Okay, for a 20 year old song, that sounds pretty good. Oh, pause. Okay, so I don't want to get rid of, don't want to get in trouble with the copyright. So now we'll, ooh, bicycle race? Yeah, the headphone jack is definitely uh, on its way out. And next song, what is this one? This is like opening a time capsule from 20 years ago. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Simple ways. Okay, what else do we have? Fallen, okay. Heaven bent to take 
Okay, we got some good good songs. Okay, my my uh, music tastes were not as bad as I thought 20 years ago. I think that's Sarah McLaughlin. Okay, I apologize. It's really loud, but the volume down button is is broken, <laughs> so I, I can't turn down the volume. And there's no volume control on the speaker. So there we go. We we got it to work. Oh, kind of. There we go. No is the so I can skip back. I can skip forward. I can pause the music. I can, oh, there we go. So if I leave it right there and I don't touch it, it seems to work. Oh, no, there, oh, oh. Anyway, so there you have it. Retro Tech, my throwback Thursday tech review. And thanks Intel for making an MP3 player that held its own for 20 years. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And once again, turns out that having a headphone jack is more useful than we think. So, Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, LG, Motorola, what do you think? Should we bring back the headphone jack? I think so. So we'll just uh, turn this off and turn it back on one more time. Show you how screens used to look 20 years ago. And not that bad, if I didn't have uh, light refracting, you can quite see, I mean, it is scratched up a bit, but it still works. So I'm gonna take this on the next road trip. This will help uh, entertain the kiddos and entertain uh, the parents as well. Because, oh, let's test the FM player. One last test. Okay, I was able to hold the volume button all the way down. So the FM receiver still works. 20 years later, that's awesome. And I found out that the set button also pre-programs pre your favorite stations. So these were stations when, I don't, I don't remember where I was living back in 2000. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I can skip, I can scan and if I hold down the headset, so we should be able to get some NPR public radio. Not bad. You're listening to All Things Considered from NPR News. So there we go. FM radio receiver, so an FM player and an MP3 player, and it plays in stereo. Not bad. Thanks again, Intel. And again, this has been another Throwback Thursday tech review from yours truly, PH Digital. Don't be shy, pithy comments are always welcome. And we'll see you again next Thursday for some retro tech. Uh, if you have some old technology you'd like me to review, yeah, you can send that to me or send me an email or comment below and we can chat. That's all for now. Goodbye.